Hello, this is Javier with CMI Mechanical, and I've got Patrick with also CMI Mechanical. He is our Director of National Accounts, uh, and he works with all of our large national accounts throughout the United States. Uh, and so Patrick has got a very extensive background when it comes to uh, HVAC uh, and refrigeration. Do you kind of want to explain you know, your background a little bit, Patrick? Sure. Uh yeah, I've been involved with property management and HVAC, any kind of mechanical service maintenance, as well as construction for about 40 years now. Okay. And so that's, you know, kind of what uh, I would say uh, one of the things that sets us apart um, from other competitors out there is, is, is having the asset of Patrick here because of his expertise. Um, he understands both sides of the facility management side as well as you know currently as the vendor or supplier side if you will and so what we want to do is we want to share with you uh, a customer uh, case study that we have and so we respect our customers and their privacy and so we're not going to reveal the name of this customer um, but um, what we want to do is we want to explain to you uh, what we were able to do and what we continuously are able to do with this customer this is a a top 10 department store in the united states and this customer essentially has some very, very strict and, and, and just big necessary requirements to continue to fulfill what their needs are. We've been working with them for several years now, right, Patrick? Correct. And essentially, this customer has older equipment um, that is you know, tough to work with, so we need to have really high-end experts that understand what their situation is. And so Patrick is gonna share with us uh, just an example of how we were able to just prolong a piece of equipment that they have on their uh, on their their roof, if you will, on their on top of their building, but on top of that, um, extend and, and save some money as well too. So I'll, I'll let Patrick kind of explain the situation. Sure. Uh, so we we have customers that have uh, large equipment, chillers, water cooled equipment, and that's something that we do. Uh, kind of specialize in. We do have the, the wherewithal to work on chillers and that is a little bit different skill set. So uh, often, uh, you know, with, with that type of equipment, uh, of course, it's a, it's, a, it's a big cost to replace a chiller and the tower and uh, they're, they're difficult to maintain at, at, at times. So what would you say the cost would be for <clears throat> replacing a chiller or a tower in, in a particular, say, department store? Uh, so, so most of the uh, cooling tower uh, that we run into for a big de department store, they might be in the you know two, three, four hundred ton capacity range. Okay. Uh, so when you when you go to replace that equipment, you, you easily exceed a hundred thousand dollars. So it's it's a big concern, and for retailers right now, you know that's a that's a, a pretty tough pill to swallow. So. Uh, we, we developed a, a way to refurb these towers, actually. Uh, and uh, some people might be familiar with polyurea. It's uh, a truck liner material, very okay. tough. Is, uh, it kind of, is it kind of similar to like a, like a rhino, um, you know, bedding that you put in the back of a truck? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, unlike other, you know, towers, uh, uh, coatings for towers, this actually, <laughs> Uh, almost adds a structural component to the tower, holding it together. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, it's a little more expensive than some of the other coatings and some of the refurb uh, processes out there, but uh, uh, we, we found it to be just uh, much better than anything that we have encountered in the past. So by doing that, we can take a tower that would typically be replaced or recommended uh, to be replaced and add several years of life to it. Really, because of this material. And so what's the, what's the process to, to do something like that? So you evaluate a cooling tower, it needs to be replaced. However, we bring in this solution with polyurethia mm -hmm. and what's the process to get that done? Um, and then basically get to where the cooling tower is back to working conditioning again. Yeah, so it is rather involved. You, know, you have to sandblast. It's actually a wet sandblast to get everything clean. Okay. You'll often then find different metal components that have to be replaced. You have to have the wherewithal to quickly do that. Uh, that's either fabricated right there on site or working with a, a local uh, fabricator to, to, to make those parts because you can't order them, you know, and okay. uh, particularly you know, having a tower down. Uh, 
<clears throat> so uh, it's it's a little tricky, you know, getting it getting it clean, getting the components back in there, and then coating it with this. Uh, and it's a, it's a very specialized equipment that uh, is used for, for the coating, but it uh, once it's done, it's <clears throat> I, I, we think that there's there's towers that we've refurbed that would have normally been, been replaced that we can add 10 even 15 years of life to that tower really so after a 30 to 40 thousand dollar investment to to basically coat this tower with this this material this liner mm -hmm. um and we're able to expand that for another 10 to 15 years because the cooling tower technically is still functional it's just basically kind of swiss cheese if you will because of all the water um, and so by doing, you know, these kind of changes, we're not only saving the customer more money, but we're, ex we're exceeding the life expectancy of some of these assets. Would you agree? <clears throat> Absolutely. And, you know, <clears throat> uh, in the middle of the summer or, you know, whatever time of the year almost in, in the south, uh, <clears throat> The process to replace a tower means a lot of downtime. Yep. So that's that's a factor too, being able to you know to get something working in a fairly short order. And so, how involved is CMI Mechanical in doing this uh, for for this particular customer? Because we've done this more than once. Yeah, we've actually done several uh, uh, for for this uh, uh, retailer, and uh, you know we. Uh, <clears throat> We, we document everything really well, you know, we do, you know, sort of an uh, economic analysis of, of, you know, the, the cost of doing it as opposed to replacing it. And certainly we can and have replaced towers too, mm -hmm. but uh, it just seems to be a very good uh, solution and uh, approach for a lot of the retailers right now. Excellent. And so, see, you know, with what you've been doing, you basically kind of walk our customer through this entire process holding their hands, making sure that you're handling um, the communication, making sure you're handling uh, the the right, um, you know, getting the right people dispatched to do the right to certain ty types of jobs, et cetera. Am I right? Exactly. You know, we, we take care of all kinds of equipment for many different customers around the country. So uh, it's, it's different working on a, an older uh, chiller as opposed to a roof piece of, you know, a regular rooftop unit. Yeah. Uh, there's always different, uh, you know, criticalities and you know urgencies uh, so getting the right uh, tech the right skill set uh, on the job is real key to our success excellent and so once we do these uh, basically is almost like where we we reinvigorate these machines if you will how does the customer feel after we're able to actually successfully do this what, what is the typical response out of them uh, you know it's 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 very positive we 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 travel uh, all over the country and and look at these jobs, meet with the customer, go through it. They have to have a, a good understanding of, of you know how successful, uh, not just this, but other things that we might do, mm -hmm. different repair methods, service replacement, uh, you know methods and different equipment. So uh, yeah, we like to go out and actually you know uh, make sure it's done right, meet the customer there, and and that's very much appreciated excellent so i would probably say that's kind of what makes us a little different um with the, from everybody else at cmi mechanical is is that not only are we knowledgeable we're a mechanical company but we're able to service the customer basically anywhere anytime even if it's a very challenging task that other uh hvac companies may try to step away from we're actually there to to go in there and and meet it head on if we need to sure excellent well, that it right there is just a, a simple case study uh, that you know we can get you know, explain to you uh, from our top ten department store customer that we have that we've been working with for several years. And if you have any more questions, please let us know. Like I said, Sema Mechanical has been doing this for a very, very long time. We are a mechanical first type company. Um, we're able to make sure we diagnose whatever your challenges are uh, and come up with the best solution that's not only going to be cost effective, but it's going to make you happy and also make everyone else in your business or inside your retail location, restaurant location, anywhere, essentially a better and safer work environment, if you will. If you have questions, please feel free to go to our website or wherever you access this, feel free to just you know look for the link or find the phone number and we'll be able to contact you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.